What's up, guys? This is Big Worm 380, and we are back in my PC cluster on Ragnarok. Um, there's been a lot of changes to the server. Uh, as usual, if you guys want to join, it's free for anybody to join. It's wide open. Uh, just follow the links in the description. Uh, you may need to subscribe to the mod, so I have the mod uh, collection link. Go to that first and subscribe to all the mods to download them. Uh, that's part of the changes to the server. Me and uh, TK have been on Jay Plays Games uh, Crystal Isles server for a little bit, uh, a couple weeks now, and been spending a lot of time on there, getting our base up and running and all that before we uh, decided to... We've been coming back over here just to check on the animals, you know, make sure everything's okay. And uh, Jade's server has a whole lot more mods than this one did. And a lot of them were really cool. Uh, added a lot of fun to the to the game. And the main one that he had that we didn't have over here was Extinction Core. And so what I did was I went ahead and added Extinction Core and several of the other mods to go along with it. Because that particular mod, it, it adds a lot to the game as far as dinos and stuff. Uh, it, it puts a lot of alpha dinos outside of what's in the vanilla game. You know, there's not just Carnos and T-Rexes and stuff like that. Pretty much there's an alpha version of every dino. Then they have prime dinos. And then they have boss dinos flying around. There was a manacore over here just last night flying right around the base. I mean, there's all kinds of shit on the map now. So we added a few more mods that were also on Jade's uh, server that we liked that, that are going to help us to you know, kind of survive because what I'm fixing to show you is what I'm talking about. Uh, the extinction core mod also adds NPC, uh, tribes, people, and they're different, uh, different color tribes, like kind of like basically like your, uh, your different color items, you know, the, the different colors or, you know, different grades or whatever quality. Well, the different colors of tribes are basically different, different difficulties. They have tribes all the way. I don't know exactly what the color, uh, order is but basically you have you start off with tribes that come at you with with spears wooden spears and all the way up to uh tech tier stuff and these these tribes people are badass usually it's it's usually a chief and maybe two npcs with them and then the chief is steadily spawning in uh whatever dinos i mean it could be what the hell is that it could be um you know, anything could be Argents, could be, uh, I mean, any, any dino they, and they're, they're mounted and they have the tribe flags on them. So you can tell what they are. So if, if you do get on the server, be aware of that. That's almost more dangerous than any of the dinos. The, the tribes people are terrible. Um, uh, and I'm fixing to show you why they were down here by this waterfall killing shit. And apparently they decided to make their way up this little pathway and, of course, I didn't have this side or this end of the base converted to metal, which I don't think it would have mattered anyway because they had rocket launchers and all kinds of shit. And they blew right through our behemoth gate and our, our uh, dino gates here, blew open our wyvern pen. They killed all of our wyverns, uh, killed our T-Rexes, beside, except for this one over here. I don't know how this one's still alive. Um, killed all of our higher level T-Rexes and blew our base open. Now... I didn't, I was at work when this was happening, which that sucks. It's basically, you know, kind of like getting raided on official when you're offline. Uh, TK was trying, he was on, I think, and he was trying to get on, or he got killed while he was on. They killed him because he didn't know they were coming or something. But anyway, he was trying to get back in, and every time he'd spawn, something would explode, and it would kick him out, and, you know, whatever. So basically, he couldn't get on, get in to do anything, and... They left a lot of tames, but they're not really anything we need anymore. Because with the mods we have, uh, with the Extinction Core mod, I also bumped up the level of the dino, wild dinos. So the max level on wild dinos on the server now is uh, 1,050. And so a lot, most of these also were for kibble. You know, all these pairs of dinos that you're not going to take out and actually use, or that we don't take out and use. So we were collecting a bunch of eggs for kibble. Well, now we have the kibble table mod that we uh, got the idea from Jade server, and that's there. It, it makes it, it, it's nice because you can make kibble with with raw metal. You know, I mean, it's kind of kind of expensive, I guess. It's thirty five metal per kibble, but 
you know, when you have to go out and tame all these freaking dinos that you're not really going to use just to collect eggs and all that, you know, it, it saves some time. And that's that's what the mods are all about, really, for me. Um, but yeah, with that level increase I did, it really made all the dinos that we were using, like the Argies and the Pteranodons that we have left, it, it kind of makes them obsolete because th there's just no way you can take a 265 RG out right now and... I mean, you'll get you'll get killed quick, uh, you know, especially with alphas of everything running around. So we're basically going to have to start retaming. I'm over here right now. I was just going to show you guys that. I need to grab this guy. And let's see what else we have. Um, I think we've more or less grabbed everything we need. The only other thing... Because Chris has already been working his ass off over at the new spot. The new spot we're at is uh, over by the blue obelisk, I believe. And I'm trying to think, do we need... Because we're not going to demolish this place yet. We will be getting rid of it just to clear it up because we're not going to be over here. Um, I need to... I'm going to get with Chris and see what he thinks about... Um, about the... Uh, the garden, because the only thing about the garden is we may have to keep that just just a small one, just just enough to make vegetables. Because I know you can make carrots in the kibble table, but for some reason I don't think you can make all the different vegetables. I could be wrong on that. And we have the veggie collector that I want to bring. We're not going to need... It, and if we do that, we'll need the dung beetles. So, but I'm gonna leave them and the rest of the stuff. We, Chris pretty much moved everything. I've moved a little bit of stuff last night, and uh, the egg collector we're not gonna need. We will need this, but we need to decide what we're gonna do with these dinos. Cause I mean, I don't see. I I hate doing it, but I don't see the point in moving all of them when we're not gonna use them. So I don't know. We'll see. Um. But what I'm going to try to be doing in this episode is getting a, uh, I'm going to try to get a grinder built, because I think, or no, we can make propellant, yeah, we can make propellant in the uh, chemistry bench thing. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead, the main thing I wanted to get over here right now that we didn't have over there was our last snail. We got three snails, I already moved two of them, and uh, so then, that'll be, that'll be good. See, and the new base we have, I'll show you guys once we get there. These are the teleporter pads I was telling you about. <clears throat> now, let's see. Let me put this put this guy on. Uh, oh, he's not wandering anyway. Okay, so these are the teleporter pads. You can make the pad. It's uh, I think the mod's called called Awesome Teleporters, and it, you can make these. I think fairly early. And on this map, uh, on the server, I went ahead and I, uh, I'll, not only did I up the wild dino level, I upped a lot of the stats. Or actually, all the stats for your character are times 10. And that's also... What the hell? Anyway, the uh, stats per level for your character are times 10, and, and the same thing goes for your dinos, I think. Pretty sure. And, uh... I changed a few other things. I changed the food and water, uh, the way, how fast it drops. Uh, I lessen that, so it takes longer to get hungry and thirsty. Um, all the stats are times 10, which is nice, but it was retroactive, and me and Chris were already pretty high level. And for some reason, we max out at 135. With the Extinction Core mod and the information on it, it says you max out at 150. I don't know... Because I did change some other settings with the, in the game file, so I don't know. But anyway, it doesn't matter. That's why I bumped up the stats, because I couldn't figure out a good way, or I saw how to do it, but I just didn't have time to actually manipulate all the levels and the Ingrams and all that stuff. But you get Ingram points all the way up to 135 on this server. So it, as you can see, I've got 4,000, 4,100 uh, Ingram points. So let's see... Yeah, we've got everything pretty much that we need right now. Here's the teleporter. Um, you make the teleporter itself, the teleporter pad, and then you can see uh, on screen right here, this is the remote for it. Now, the remote, you don't actually have to have the remote unless you're riding a dino. 
Because if you can walk up and just hit your button on this, then see we have two more uh, teleporters. This is this is our new base right here. The teleporter. What these are? These two. Uh, the quick metal. The quick metal is, I believe, the quick metal is up on top of that mountain up there where we would fly up to get metal. And then I think the metal number two is up on that mountain straight ahead right there because there's a bunch of nodes up there. But, uh, so yeah, all you do is just walk up to it, and if I click on teleporter right now, it's going to teleport me, and I think it'll teleport the dinos I have sitting right here, because you can also change the size of the teleporter range, basically. Um, but just, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick him up and go here, and then, so if you do this, if you're on a mount, and you have your remote like I do, you just hit your remote, which you can't do, because... Okay, well, we're about to find out if this teleports the snail as well. I forgot you can't use anything in your hands while you're, uh... Okay, and then you, you just hit that, and then, uh, wormhole is this one. This is our base, um, and then, but this is our new one. And then you just hit that, and the little teleporter window or, uh, bubble comes up, and it should teleport everything within the bubble. So, here we are. Did it bring our snail? Yes, it did. Okay, good. So, those are pretty damn cool. Talk about saving some time. Uh, you know, it, it, it's not even that the, the old base is that far away, but it's it's far enough away where that, that helps having the teleporters. And like, we, like Chris did with the metal, you can put them around metal. And, you know, I, I think it's like anything else. As long as you don't put them right where the nodes were, you know, the nodes will grow back just fine. So... Yeah, Chris built all of this shit. Um, I put the wall... I put... He, he put most of these these walls right here in this little area here. And last night, basically the only thing I've contributed to the base so far is this outer perimeter wall here. And then in, a, in the other little open spots that, that tribe people can get through or animals um, just blocked it off, you know. And blocked off the top to where we don't have shit up here falling in the base. And that way, this leaves all these metal nodes right here or inside our base walls. And if somebody needs metal and they come by here, uh, I don't have a problem with that, but I, I will throw it out here. We're putting up turret towers because of the uh, tribes people, because we don't want them smashing our shit up. And all you guys that watch my videos that are on Xbox, I will be renting an Xbox server. It'll probably be a cluster, and we'll talk about... I'm going to be for sure getting Ragnarok, and then... It'll be clustered with probably one other map. Um, I don't know. Like, this one's clustered with uh, the island. Uh, I may do the, P the the center on that one. I don't know. We'll, we'll talk about that when it gets closer. But uh, anyway, guys, yeah, this is just a little update on the deal. Um, going to be... We got a lot of, lot of shit to do around the base. And then uh, there's going to be a lot of tame videos of, you know, us taming alphas and shit. So, it's... Uh, it, we got a lot to do. So, it's going to be a lot of, lot of fun videos coming up. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Later.